First item, though, in April this year, Evan O'Dwyer from Cork and his mum, Deirdre, and his aunt, Linda, appeared on this show. Evan suffered from a, rain, a rare brain disorder, epilepsy and autism. They were appealing for help to bring Evan to Germany for treatment that was their great hope to improve the quality of his life. This is a quick reminder of their situation. Tell us about the stem cell research, because you're trying to fundraise now for, for that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, in June, Evan is going for a stem cell treatment in Dusseldorf in Germany. And what they'll do is they'll take um, from his bone marrow, from his hip, and they'll cultivate that into stem cells, which will be three quarters through his skull. Because the, and subsequently, since the recent MRI, there's loads of fluid on his brain, which is great. And it'll take it, and they'll do a quarter intravenously just in case um, if they put everything through the skull there might be a seizure with all the activity mm -hmm. so it's just a precautionary measure and what do so, you hope happen once he has those stem cells injected in? well if we could just get him I suppose toilet trained and his communication skills up a bit better well mm -hmm. that would be it for us well, we're delighted to welcome Deirdre back. Uh, yeah. Linda is not here today. No. Uh, uh, Evan is here, but unfortunately he's not able to join us right no. now. No. Uh, just remind us, for those who, who weren't with us the last time that you were here, um, what, is, what, what is Evan's condition? He has neuromigrational disorder, which is actually quite rare, and I think he's probably the second in Ireland to have that, which is the left side of the brain didn't develop, and he has autism and epilepsy. And it's the epilepsy which was kind of the scary one at the time because it was they were getting worse and the grand mals were becoming more frequent so mm -hmm. like that that really was a big scare because we were kind of told twice like this is it like you know so it was to kind of improve that and the autism then you know as they get older it's kind of more difficult to reach them and to get into their world so if we could do that now we have a much better chance of his communication and him leading a better life Mm -hmm. for, and easier for us as well in the long term so like after loads and loads of research this is the direction we decided to go in and it has just turned out absolutely brilliant for well, us. Well I imagine you were quite apprehensive I mean because stem cell treatment it's still a kind of an unknown territory uh, and you were going off to Germany for it. Yes. Uh, you fundraised the money. Um, what happened when you got over there? We went over and I'd have to say the clinic was absolutely one I've never seen anything like it. It's so clinical and everything is, if your appointment is one o'clock, you are there at one o'clock. And everything was talked through so well. And then you were, you were brought downstairs then where you met, met the anaesthetist mm -hmm. and you were brought into the room where he was going to be done. And you were then brought to the room where he was going to recover. And like any questions we had at all were put to bed that day. Mm -hmm. So on the Tuesday then we brought Evan in and there was 11 vials of bone marrow taken from the bone and they were cultivated and we got 2.7 million cells with a 93% vitality. Well, which uh, and, and that is very, very that's good. That's the highest good, they've yeah. ever had. Evan like, has had the highest rate, mm -hmm. which meant we had a fantastic chance of having good results. Mm -hmm. Initially, those cells were supposed to be injected into the left side of his brain, yeah. but you changed your mind at the I last did. minute. I did. I changed my mind. We were due to get it done on the Tuesday and I changed my mind on the Monday. I just, there was something not sitting right with me about it and I just felt I've come this far and I need to be happy with what I'm doing because I'm Evan's voice and I just decided, look, okay, we're going to go this way and I have no... So it was into his spine then? It they went pushed. into the spine then and they navigated up and I mean almost immediately we had results. Uh, with you choosing to go into Evan's spine rather than directly in, into the left side of his brain, were you, were you told that there was less chance of success? No, we were never told that, but we were, we, what we were told was that you probably would have seen a faster result. Okay. But I don't believe that now because we saw re results immediately. And you what know. results did you see? I mean, you're saying it was only after a couple of hours you could yeah. see a change. Well, first of all, Evan was supposed to be in intensive care for three days and he was supposed to be sedated for an extra six hours after the procedure. An hour. He was one hour and I had to feed him. And like even doctors, the other doctors came up and were having a look at this child who was just recovering so fast. And he was walking within the hour. I yeah. mean, he was after having two anaesthetics, a bone marrow, and a lumbar puncture into the spine and he was up walking within Whoa. an hour. Now, we, uh, we have to remind uh, people who are watching and seeing you for the first time that there was a time when you were told that Evan wouldn't walk. Oh, we were, yeah. And then 
you got him treatment and yeah. you, just one day he appeared in, yeah. the, in the doorway. Oh, that's right. I and know. the floodgates <laughs> opened. Yeah. Yeah, just before his third birthday. Yeah. And um, that because we were told, as you know, he would never walk, he would never talk, especially with the the brain disorder that he has. Mm -hmm. And like that to us was just a miracle because back then I'd have been just happy enough with yeah. walking. Okay. But of course, then I wanted more. You wanted him to talk. Yeah. So yeah. there was an instant response. There was. Did he talk? We have shots oh, of him actually. Look. The there's a, such a different look about Evan at the this moment. Is Evan. This is him. We filmed him in the corridor just, just a couple a of minutes ago because he's a bit tired because he's been up since four o'clock <laughs> this morning. Um, what is the change? I mean, for parents out there who have yeah. children who are autistic, who will be watching this, yeah. you know, with hope, what difference have you noticed? Okay, in we have words. We have not sentences. We're not almost with the sentences. We have, um, mummy, mummy be nice, um, I love you, where's daddy, come on Dylan. Um, he's using pecs now to do picture exchange, which is less frustration now for him. Um, he's actually repeating things like before he'd never watch a DVD, but the other night now we watched a Barney DVD and it was the clapping song. And he knew exactly when to clap and when not to clap and he had the rhythm down to the to, tea. to see your son do that, what's it like for you? Oh, it's like winning the lotto. Honest, I, I just can't even explain it. It's just amazing the difference that we have this, in the child. This, this is something that other parents just take for granted yeah. with their children. Yeah. This is something you could only have dreamed of a couple of years ago. Oh, absolutely. And every day he's doing something different and he's so inquisitive and he's just amazing. What was his first word? Uh, Daddy. Were you disgusted? <laughs> um, he already had he already had mum, didn't he? Yeah, he lost that then again and it's back and it's not even daddy, he says it's Doddy. Well listen, you've received a huge reaction um yeah. since he's come home. I know you were featured in the papers in Cork. Yeah. Um and you you uh, have now got a single out uh, with Simon Casey and yeah. um, the singer uh, to raise some more funds. funds. Uh, I think we have that single there. Will we Let's have a, a, a quick listen to it? And Simon Casey joins us now. Very welcome to the morning show. Simon. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous song, and my memories of it are Luke Kelly singing it. That's Phil right. Coulter, the writer of the song, we saw him there with, with Evan. Evan. Yeah. How did this come about, Simon? Well, I tell you, I actually became aware of um, Evan um, through this show. I was watching it myself one morning with my kids. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just a story that, that means a lot to me because I, I actually do a lot of work for autism in Lee Shoflin in the Midlands, you know. And it's look, you know, it's just scarce the way things happen. But a couple of months ago, then um, Deirdre contacted me. Um, she'd heard my my version of Scorn of Simplicity on, on YouTube, I think. Yeah. And um, it just took from there. Deirdre just asked me, would I be would I be interested in doing, you know, helping this, helping Evan out with this um, charity mm -hmm. single? I was delighted to do it, you know, because it's such a um, such a great story as well, like, you know, and, and, and you know, and it's great to see him developing so much mm -hmm. through this treatment as well, you know, so anything I can do, I was just delighted to do it. When is the single out? The single's out on the 26th of November, okay. so we're having a big night down at Cork that night, we're going to have all the, the hurlers and the footballers yeah. and the <laughs> Sam Maguire and all that, and uh, so it's going to be, it's going to be a fantastic night. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm looking forward to that, you know. This treatment uh, is, has been very expensive, can you just yeah. let us know how much it's already cost? Um, with with the trip to Texas and with the trip to um, Germany, we've spent in the region of sixty thousand euro. But okay. to hear him speak, yeah, to see him walk, oh, it's amazing! It's, it's worth every cent. Absolutely amazing! Yeah. And I know you're going to go back again. We are, and this is where the proceeds from this exactly. single. Yeah, yeah. So we hope to sell as many singles. You know, obviously, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be available pretty much everywhere on, on Evan's website and through Facebook and all the rest. But also, a lot of the the, the big um, 
big shops in Cork are taking it in as well. Yeah. So yeah. we're hoping to make as much money as we can because it is such a fantastic um, oh, it's, it's charity, it's you know, fantastic cause. Uh, that's the CD. That's uh, the CD. If you're looking to buy something for Christmas, or even to make a small little gesture for Christmas by purchasing this, you'll do exactly that. And uh, Evan, uh, who you saw just a few minutes ago, would benefit greatly from it. Uh, lovely to see you, Simon. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Continued success. And may it go on and on and, and, on, on, and on for, for <laughs> you and Evan and, and all the family. Thanks very much. Thanks for coming on and giving us a good news story yeah. Yeah. to start <laughs> the day with. Oh, well, thanks very much. Okay, okay lovely to see you.